CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you the three ways to connect a, an IP security camera to a network. So here I have the IP camera. On the IP camera, there are two connections on the pigtail. We have a 12 volt DC connector and then we have an RJ45 Ethernet connector. For the first two methods, we're going to focus on using the RJ45 Ethernet connector as the 12 volt DC connector is not needed for power over Ethernet technology. So again, the RJ45 Ethernet connector is the only connector you will need to concern yourself with if you have a PoE injector or a PoE switch, which leads me to these other two devices here. Here I have what's called a PoE switch. It has four power over Ethernet ports and then two uplink ports. The uplink ports are used to daisy chain to another switch or to uplink the switch to a router. And then here I have a PoE injector. On the PoE injector, there are two ports. One is the data port, which I already have a cable connected to. And then the other one is a power and data port. So the data port goes from the injector to your router, which is your network. And then the power and data port goes to the camera. And I'll show how to do that in a few moments. And then last but not least, I do have an internet router here. And it has an internet connection from this yellow cable going to a modem. In your case, you may not have an internet connection, in which case this system will still work with an IP camera in a local network. You just won't be able to access it remotely until you provide the router with an internet connection from a modem. So the first method to connect, I'm going to show how to use the PoE injector. So I already have the cable going for the data port, and then I'm going to connect that into my router. So on the router, you have a WAN port or network port for your internet connection. This is going to my modem. And then I've plugged my PoE injectors data port into one of the LAN or local area network ports on my router. So the next step is going to be to plug in my camera into my injector. So I'm using the power and data port. I'm plugging my cable in, and then I'm gonna plug my camera in on the other end. This cable could be up to 328 feet between the camera and PoE injector, and another 328 feet between the PoE injector and my router. So after plugging it in, you will note that you do have activity lights on your PoE injector. One shows power, and then another one for PoE power. Both of those are lit up. And then you can also check the status of the connection on your router. So after connecting my camera, I now received a blinking blue light on my router to indicate that this port now has activity. If I were to unplug this cable from this port and plug it into another port, now that light will light up on my router. So that's an easy way to tell if your camera is receiving power and if your camera is receiving connection. So the, that is the first method, again, using the PoE injector with its two ports, the data port going to my router and the power and data port going to my camera. So the next method that you can use if you want to use multiple cameras rather than just one is the PoE switch. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this PoE switch has four PoE ports and then two uplink ports. So first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect the PoE injector. And then I'm going to connect my PoE switch to my router. Of course, you're going to want to have your PoE switch powered with a cable or its power supply. This one just happens to have an external power supply, and I already have it powered on. And I can check the connectivity between my PoE switch and my router before even connecting my camera. So I have the PoE switch connected to port 4 on my router, and there is a light there indicating that. And then there are also lights on my PoE switch, so it says ACT as an activity and then the green LED is on on my PoE switch. So I know I have connectivity between my PoE switch and my router. So the last step is to connect my camera. So I'm going to connect my camera to one of the PoE ports. Again, paying attention to the status lights here, as soon as I connected the camera in, there was an amber light to show PoE, and then there was a green activity light to show that it has network connectivity. So now that's how you connect a PoE switch with an IP camera to your router. Again, I have a cable going from my camera 
to one of the PoE enabled ports on my PoE switch. And then using one of the uplink ports, I have a cable going from my PoE switch to my router. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the third method is going to be to use the 12 volt DC connector along with the RJ45 connector, which requires a 12 volt DC power supply. So I have that power supply here. And I, so of course you will need a power outlet nearby. This 12 volt DC power adapter happens to have two prongs for a standard North American plug. So you do need the power outlet nearby for the camera. So first you're going to want to connect your power supply to an outlet or a surge protector. So I'm going to go ahead and plug my power supply in and then you would connect your power supply to the 12 volt DC connector on your camera. And your camera is going to receive power from that power adapter and start booting up. So then the final step would be to connect your ethernet cable to the back of your router. And again, you're going to check for status lights on your router to see that the camera is receiving power and that it has connectivity with your router. If you don't see an activity light, then you need to make sure that your 12 volt DC power supply is powering the camera and that your cable between the camera and the router is a good cable. Hopefully this video shows you the three methods of connecting an IP security camera to your router. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.